So, you want to know what the ultimate guard dog breed is? Well, today is the big day. The finale of our 16 breed knockout tournament has left us with the Connie Corso and the Rottweiler looking to eliminate each other and be crowned the ultimate guard dog breed. Welcome back to the Canine Show and our Ultimate Dog Championships, Guard Dog Edition. I'm Will, I'm a behaviourist and on this channel I make videos just like this one to educate people all about these amazing dog breeds. So if you are new here, please consider subscribing. But without further ado, let's get straight into round one of our five round fight. Whoever wins the most rounds is crowned the Tournament King. Round number one, the Intimidation Factor. So let's kick off the finale with the Connie Corso's incredible looks. These dogs aren't quite as big as some of the other Mastiff type breeds, but they're no less intimidating. They stand 70 centimeters tall and 45 kilos, or about 28 inches and 100 pounds to my American friends, which is actually an insane height to weight ratio. And that comes from all the muscle, which gives the Connie Corso some of the most incredible physical attributes, which is why they're becoming such a popular choice in personal protection. All of this is clearly visible when you start to look at the dog. But let's start with their heads, which are very large and broad, typical of Mastiff type breeds, with a very powerful jaw, which most people take one look at and it makes them very nervous. Moving down from the head, you start to appreciate this breed's power of their incredibly fit necks, packed with muscle, that move seamlessly to their most impressive feature for me, which is their deep, broad and extremely well-muscled chest, that especially when seen head-on is something to behold in the canine world. The rest of the body is equally as well muscled, but not out of proportion at all, which allows them the levels of athleticism and complements that power perfectly. The Rotti is maybe one of the most distinct and easily recognisable guardian breeds on the planet, and there's really no mistaking them for any other breed. Males can grow upwards of 69 centimetres or 27 inches, weighing 60 kilos or 130 pounds, with females being a bit smaller and lighter than their male counterparts. So obviously they are large dogs, but they are not as big as some of the other garden breeds. They are, however, extremely muscled, beautifully proportioned dogs with excellently developed deep chests with very large, powerful legs. Their heads are fairly broad, but not as broad as many Mastiff type breeds. And they have slight wrinkling of their faces when they are interested by something or when they're focused on a task. Otherwise, they have nice tight coats across their faces with a perfect scissor bite. Their coats and colouring are one of the most recognisable traits of the Rotti. Their undercoat is short and grey, black or fawn, but whatever the colour it does not show through its medium length, coarse top coat, which sits very flat with all of their bodies, and they have very specific colouring being black with very well defined markings. Before I judge this round, I want to remind you all that you can cast your votes for who you think wins each round in a YouTube poll that will have popped up top right on your screen. It won't take you away from the video or anything, and it's a built in YouTube feature. And tomorrow I'll be doing my very first live stream show where we'll look at how you guys judge this final contest and see how it compares to my own judgment. So let's do this then. Which breed is more intimidating? And in my opinion, I'm not sure you could have chosen two breeds of our 16 in this contest to make this round more difficult to judge. But I am going to go with the Connie Corso, whose massive features and that often demonic looking coat and eye combination gives them the edge for me and they're even more so when they've got cropped and docked which is very common in the breed, regardless of your thoughts on the ethics of that practice, it's undeniably an added element of the breed's intimidating looks. Round number two, the bark and bite force. The Connie Corso is reported to have an absolutely insane bite force of 700 PSI, something that, like I've discussed in the past, I am going to put to the test in some time in the future, but let's check out their bark, as you would assume that it's equally as fearful. <laughs> The highest bite force of the Rottweiler is pretty commonly reported to be around 328 PSI, which is a ferocious bite, but now let's check out the bark to see if it compares. So this is an easier one for me to judge here. Bite force easily goes to the Connie Corso, and I'd say their barks are pretty even, so the Connie Corso takes this round and takes an early 2-0 lead. But before we jump into round three, I'm super pumped to tell you that our next tournament will be starting straight away this week. And it's going to be bigger, more educational and more fun than ever. But as YouTube is still being funny with the comments, if you do want to get involved with what breeds will be entered or what the five rounds are, you can drop me an email and I've set up that email address just so we can chat. More information is down in the description about that. And the tournament title will all be revealed in a couple of days with my tournament teaser trailer, which I'm editing as we speak. Round number three. Trainability. 
The Connie Corso is definitely one of the most intelligent of the Mastiff lineage breeds, being not only very intelligent, but also having a very keen and sharp desire to please, which when it comes to trainability, I often find more important than just intelligence. But when you combine an eagerness to please with an intelligence and a dog that constantly looks to you for direction, then you have an absolute pleasure to work with, and that's exactly what you get with the Connie Corso. So right off the bat, we know the Rotti is considered one of the most intelligent breeds on the planet, but that doesn't always make for the most trainable as eagerness to please and a lack of independence helps in this field massively, which makes this round for the Rotti not quite as simple as just declaring them one of the smartest dogs on the planet, and then be done with it. So if we know the Rotti is intelligent, is it trainable? And the answer is an overwhelming yes, but as long as you can be a consistent leader that provides adequate socialization, training, exercise, mental stimulation, and a healthy diet. Without one of these or a combination of these things, you may find that your Rotti will become independent and more dominant, which does make them a little bit harder to control. Another fairly easy round, in my opinion. You regular viewers know by now that I love the Connie Corso and consider them the most trainable of the Mastiff breeds, but unfortunately they still don't quite match the Rotti's level of intelligence and trainability, which gives the Rotti the win and brings it back two rounds to one. But make sure you don't forget to cast your vote on the little card that pops up top right of the screen. Round number four, health and life expectancy. The average life expectancy of a Connie Corso is between 10 and 11 years, and they do suffer from quite a long list of hereditary health issues that you should know about if you're considering the dog, including hip and elbow dysplasia, some eye issues, cardiomyopathy, epilepsy, wobbler syndrome, thyroid issues, demodectic mange, various different allergies, bloat, cruciate ligament issues as well. It's widely accepted that the average life expectancy of a Rottweiler is between 8 and 10 years, which isn't too bad for such a large, powerful breed. Like all breeds, this can be extended with a high-quality diet and a healthy, active lifestyle, and the Rotti is prone to suffer from a few hereditary health issues that include things like cancer, entropion and ectropion, cruciate ligament rupture, wet eczema, uh, cold water tail, hip dysplasia, elbow dysplasia, bloat, they are prone to obesity, aortic stenosis, and some lines have been known to have some temperament issues. What a close one here. Both breeds have a very similar list and length of common health issues, which requires a good vet's plan and insurance, but the Connie Corso does have a very slight edge in the life expectancy, which lets him squeak this round out before moving into our fifth and final round, not only this contest, but of our whole tournament. Round number five, fearless loyalty. The Connie Corso is a world-renowned guard and protection dog, and combined with their trainability is making them excel at all forms of these working roles. They form very strong bonds with their owners and their families and have a deep love for them. This makes them very protective of them and they will protect them at a moment's notice should any threat come to the families that they love so much. Rotties were bred to protect and guard and have been used for this task for years. They do have an unfair reputation of being a dangerous breed, but this doesn't change the fact that they are extremely capable of superb guarding work and are world renowned for being totally devoted to their families, showing incredible levels of loyalty to their loved ones with zero fear of repercussions for themselves. This is another reason why owners need to be well educated in properly socialising and training a Rottweiler as they need to understand when it's appropriate to utilise their guarding skills, which for many of us is but a tiny, tiny fraction of their lives. So I'm going to jump straight into this one and let you guys know that I'm choosing the Connie Corso, whose sheer devotion to its owners is like nothing I've personally seen from most other breeds and combined with its insane levels of fearlessness make it one of the most loyal breeds on the planet. But don't forget, if you disagree, make sure you can cast your vote up in the poll on the top right of the video so we can take a look at your opinions in tomorrow's first ever live stream to compare your judgment to my own. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss that first live stream. But there we have it, the Connie Corso has crowned our ultimate guard dog breed with a whopping 4-1 win over the Valiant Rottweiler. Click top left for the whole playlist for all the contests in this tournament or click bottom left for another one of my videos that I think you'll enjoy. I hope you enjoyed this tournament guys and I can't wait to start the next one with you in just a few days.